So good morning. I want to give everyone a little sale recap of our great sale day last Saturday. We had a great day, a great day weather-wise, and a great big crowd, and I think everyone's glad to see COVID in the rearview mirror. So we started our day with our big red super baldy bulls. We produced these bulls for 27 years, so I tell people they're an overnight success that took 25 years. We, uh, the demand just keeps growing and growing for these bulls this year. They spread over a bigger geographical area all the way from uh, eastern Canada all the way into the southern states. So our, uh, our sales started uh, with a top end on these big baldy bulls at around 12,000. One bull even as high as 17,000. And these bulls are all selling to commercial cattlemen. So the sale progressed, uh, the sale was really strong. In the middle, you could buy these big red baldy bulls at 6,500 plus or minus $500. And uh, as we moved along into the sale, you know, some of the younger bulls at the end at 5,000 or so, just really good value um, on our red super baldy bulls. Second breed into the ring uh, was our red Angus purebred bulls. We sold 80 of these incredibly uniform bulls and had a lot of comments on how uniform this set of 80 bulls were. And that's the result of our breeding program over a long period of time uh, for uniformity and consistency. So no extreme highs here. The high selling bull was 11.5, sold some more bulls around nine. But as we progressed, we, uh, you know, we sold lots of bulls in the $6,000 plus or minus $500 right through to the end where we had some very affordable Red Angus uh, bulls for heifers that traded in the $4,000 range. Next, we sold our Super Guppy bulls. These, uh, these Gelve Red Angus and Black Angus hybrid bulls just continue to get more and more popular. The industry now calls them balancers, but I tell folks, you call them whatever you like. We've been making them for 25 years. So we sold our red, uh, our red guppy bulls first. A uh, couple bulls sold for around nine thousand dollars. Then we sold some bulls at six, and then you could buy really good bulls at five to fifty-five as we moved through these big hairy uh, Galve bulls. And we, uh, we probably never had as strong a demand uh, on on our Galve hybrid bulls. Then we moved to our black. Uh, black Gelve bulls, the increasing uh, numbers on these bulls, and again they topped at 11,000. Um, lots of bulls in the $5,000 range, and they were just steady, uh, steady on price, and the quality was really, really steady throughout this whole offering. Next, we moved to our big H2 bulls, and there is a lot of power and pigment in this group this year. Um, this group topped at $9,500, sold a few bulls around $8,000 and then basically sold uh, lots and lots of bulls in the $6,000 range, plus or minus $500. And these bulls increasingly go to breed black and black baldy cows, and of course they're perfect for that. They make wonderful baldy calves, and uh, because these bulls are all non-diluters, you don't get any, uh, any smokies or rat tails from this group. We then sold our very small offering of Hereford bulls, and most of our Hereford cows now are committed to our H2 production. So uh, just don't have a lot of Hereford bulls available. They topped at 6,000, and we sold lots of good Hereford bulls around the $4,000 range. So as the sale moved along, uh, Colonel Poley sold them at a blistering pace of about 50 seconds a bull until we got to our black super baldy bulls. And these bulls have just literally created their own demand over time. We had about 75 of them um, and uh, they just sold incredibly well and incredibly fast. Um, we were selling these bulls at about 30 seconds a bull. Um, the top end of these bulls was around $12,000. Um, sold three or four bulls there, sold some more bulls in the nines. And then realistically, you could buy really good bulls in the uh, 665 uh, range all through the sale until we got to the end. Some of the younger July bulls, you know, were around the 5,000, 5,500. So all in all, the Super Baldy sale was really strong and uh, we didn't quite have enough bulls there. So next we sold our 70 or so Black Angus bulls. Again, they're just soggy, middle of the road, two-year-old bulls with lots of performance and muscle to them. Um, these bulls topped 10.5, sold some bulls around the $8,000 range. And then again, as the uniformity of the bulls and the uniformity of price, these bulls sold you know, uh, around 6,000 through most of the sale as we got to the 
uh, kind of the, the black Angus bulls for heifers. We actually got a little soft, not a lot of folks breeding heifers yet. And so lots of these bulls traded around the $4,000 range. So just uh, as this industry continues to ramp up, I think uh, fasten your seatbelts because by this time next year, the whole country might be breeding heifers. We wound up our sale day with our big solid Charlay offering. Um, these big, stout, hairy Charlay two-year-old bulls sold on a really incredible demand. Uh, we sold the top bull around $12,000, uh, a few bulls just over $10,000, and then we sold, you know, a lot of bulls in the $7,000 range, $6,000 range, and a few younger bulls at the end of the sale in the five to $5,500 range. So really strong Charlay bull sale. Uh, and those bulls are just more and more accepted every year. Well, that concludes our recap of our 23 sale. We averaged just over $6,700 on just under 400 bulls. Um, we sold bulls to every province in Canada except PEI and to seven states. Every single bull sold to a commercial cattle producer. As I tell people, we're in the bull business. There's no purebred fluff. Just the best bulls we can raise for salt-of-the-earth cattlemen. Thank you so much.